Welcome back to Candy's Art World. I'm Candy and today I'm going to do a watercolor painting of a photograph I took while we were on spring break. We went down to um, the Gulf in Mississippi. Um, spent a week there. It was a really nice vacation. Um, got to take our puppy to see the beach. Um, but I seen this bird flying so I decided to snap a picture of it um, and see if I could art it when I got home. I didn't know which way I was going to but I decided to try it with watercolor. Um, I did use some liquid latex, well not liquid latex but it's um, it is liquid masking fluid to cover the bird so that way I can paint in the sky and all that around the bird without having to go <clears throat> excuse me without having to go around the bird and for the sky I'm doing a wet on wet technique I wet it, I wet the paper and I'm using pretty wet paint And see, I use my I use a an old dinner plate from a set that we don't have. The rest of the set is all, you know, over time they've broken or whatever. So I just use one of those plates to mix my watercolors on. Um, it's easy to wash off because of the the uh, slickness of the surface. And I'm using a fluffy brush to blend it out when I feel like it was a little too harsh. And here I'm trying to mix color for the sand. The good thing about um, watercolor is they typically dry lighter than it looks when it's wet. Sometimes I have to remind myself to let it dry and see what it looks like. Here's the shadow for the bird. That's the reason why I really liked the way the photo came out because it showed the bird and the bird shadow. You have to let it dry completely before you pull up your masking fluid or you can rip your paper. Um, and this is the first time I just tried to use some gouache paint um, to bring some of the white back into the bird and into the water because I didn't want to use so much masking fluid because I didn't know 
if the paper would be able to handle using it. It's a good tip in case you want to add some highlights to it because you really can't use white water color as if it was white acrylic paint. It doesn't doesn't quite work that way. But gouache is very similar to both. It's kind of like a meet in the middle between acrylic and watercolor. It's not as thick as, as acrylic. You can water it down so it's more like, uh, I mean, it's not thick like acrylic. You can water it down to the consistency of watercolor are really close and then it doesn't bump up on your surface. I hope you enjoyed watching. Please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Have a great day.